driving to integrity, man, huh? How many brothers gotta wear a mother dress? Eight brothers gotta wear a mother dress. Everybody on TV got on a goddamn dress. Shanae Nana, Shanae Nana, Shanae what are you, Shanae the rhetoric of, oh, you sell out in Hollywood because you wore a dress. I wore a dress. It's called White Chicks. You know what we did? We did a classic. Dustin, when Dustin Hoffman wears a dress Tootsie. in Tootsie, yes. he wins an Oscar. Mm -hmm. Black people, as soon as we put on a dress, we start tearing each other down. This is art. and this Whatever happened to Integrity Man? Huh? How many brothers got to wear a mother dress everybody on TV got on a goddamn dress Sean Sean Shooky? What I'm a be, uh, I'm tired of the rhetoric of, oh, you sell out in Hollywood because you wore a dress. I wore a dress. It's called White Chicks. You know what we did. We did a classic D.U.S. when Dustin Hoffman wears a dress in Tossie. Yes, he wins an Oscar black people. Soon as we put on the dress, we start tearing each other down. This is art. And this is calm, so you know how. Cat Williams never holds back right well. It looks like he's on a roll again, and this time he's got Marlon Wan in his crosshairs. Yep. Not even the W.A.N. brothers are safe from Kat's callouts. It's like he's got this radar, and if you say something even slightly off, you're in for it now. What's the deal with Kat and Marlon, you ask? Well, the rumor mill is buzzing with talks that Kat is gearing up for a showdown with Marlon. And what's the supposed reason behind this brewing feud Kat is accusing Marlon of Protecting what he calls predators in the comedy scene. What does cat mean by predators? You wonder well it all ties back to the whole wearing dresses in the media controversy among black comedians according to see a D strutting around in a dress is like a secret passageway for black comedians to make it big in the industry. And here's the twist. Marlon is supposedly singing a different tune from Cat's perspective He's allegedly denying the whole dress-wearing narrative that Kat is throwing out there. Of course, when someone accuses you of something, you're going to want to set the record straight right. Marlon no KN for his epic transformations in White Chicks is no exception. But Kat isn't buying it. The rumor mill is going wild with speculations that Kat is pulling no punches dragging Marlon by. His hair metaphorically speaking and claiming that Marlon is shielding those who force black men into wearing dresses. It's a wild ride and cat. Williams is at the forefront, not holding anything back where all here for the tea and this comedy is getting juicier by the minute now. Let's dig deep and find out exactly what Marlon Ween said to get under Cat's skin to the point where he's supposedly ready to confront him. So Marlon recently sat down with Big Boy on his show, spilling all the tea about the whole dress-wearing drama in the industry he didn't hold back, saying I'm sick of this whole idea that wearing a dress in Hollywood means you've sold out, come on now. Look at white chicks, that's a classic. And we at Marlin's point is why do black folks get all worked up when one of their own throws on a dress, but when white actors like Robin Williams, Tom Hanks, or Dustin Hoffman do it, they're hailed as brilliant he straight up called out the double standards and said black people need to stop tearing each other down over this dress thing. It's comedy. It's art when Dustin Hoffman wins an Oscar for rocking a dress. It's genius. But somehow, when it's a brother, we start hating Marlon's not here for that tat. Oxic mindset, he's all about embracing every shade of black humor, celebrating the diversity within the black community Marlon's, throwing shade at the idea that wearing a dress somehow diminishes a black actor's talent. He's got a point why teardown legends like Flip Wilson or Tyler Perry just because they rocked a dress for a role Mars on a mission to break free from the toxicity urging minorities to unite and celebrate the richness of our humor. He's not about dragging each other down. He's all off. About lifting each other up so in his words. Let's ditch that toxic vibe and start embracing the full spectrum of black comedy. Marlon continued spilling the beans about his own experience when Cat Williams threw shade at him for not being a full-time stand-up comedian back in the day they were. Working on Behind the Smile and Marlene wasn't hitting the stand-up scene hard at that time. Cat was like, man, you should try it. You're funny offering up his own material, like he's got hours of it in the vault, man. Marlon was having none of it. Though he was like, and if I'm going to do stand-up. 
I'm writing my own stuff, I appreciate the offer. But I got this cat was trying to push him into the comedy world. But Marlon stuck to his guns as an actor. And that's where things got a bit spicy. Because Cat went on about. Marley not doing stand-up calling him a comedic actor, not a comedian. He says crazy stuff about me. But I don't take it negative one time. He said Malo ain't a real comedian. I said okay. And this about ten years. As ago, now, here's the kicker. Marlon took that as a challenge, not a disc. He embraced it as an opportunity to step up his comedy game instead of getting all defensive. He was like, okay, you're right, got work to do fast forward. And Marlon's been hustling, doing specials, hitting the road, basically on the grind to become a legit comedian. He admitted he's way better now than when Kat dropped that comment. But he didn't let it get him down. He flipped it into something POS positive, using it as fuel to become. His greatest self in the comedy game, no negativity here. It's all love, Marlon emphasized, that his family's all about spreading love in the industry. And they wish everyone nothing but good vibes. So after Marlon spilled the beans in that interview, some fans weren't exactly on board with what he was saying and they were quick to back up Cat Williams. One fan said everybody in their feelings, but missing what Cat Williams is saying, if a man in Hollywood doesn't want to wear a dress, it shouldn't stop his career from moving forward, and another said Cat Williams said the people who sold their souls have to spend most of their careers trying to convince us they didn't. But if you really think about it, the truth was staring us in the face, and maybe we just chose to look the other way hate on Cat all. You want, but he didn't spin any lies about the whole men wearing dresses trend in movies. Let's talk Kevin Hart for a sec, before he skyrocketed to the Kevin Hart. We all know and love he was dropping some. Wisdom in an interview, Kevin was all about artists protecting their brand setting boundaries and not crossing certain lines. At that point, he was vibing with his personal beliefs. No dress drama in sight. When the topic of wearing a dress for a role came up, Kevin was straight up like, nah, haven't faced. That dress dilemma got to know your boundaries and protect your brand. He was all about steering clear of anything that could compromise his image. Kevin even mentioned turning down a request to dribble. A basketball on a talk show because it would make him look fool. It's all about protecting the brand, definitely have ran in to put it on the dress. I mean, you know, you have to have, you have to have boundaries. You have to have to flimits. But Yuriu refuse to cross the rye gets interesting. Just a year later, Boom Kevin's on an SNL skit, rocking a dress, nine-year-old Oscar nominee Sen Wallace fans. We're not having it accusations of selling out and being fake started flying around it. it was like hold. Up, wasn't you just preaching about boundaries and protecting your brand, Kev? The plot twist got fans feeling some type of way and they called him out for doing the exact thing he said artists shouldn't do. But then Kevin Hart pulled a complete 1-180 on us, flipping the script from his earlier stance on wearing dresses. He initially said, no way I'm not putting on a dress fast forward to when the opportunity knocked and he found the whole idea funny suddenly. He was like, why not? I'm doing it, you know. What I was actually, I was actually one of those comedians that said no. I wouldn't wear a dress. There's no way I would wear a dress. And then when proposed with the opportunity of what I felt was funny, I thought, oh, that's funny. I'm going to do it, but here's where it gets tricky, Kevin, in defense mode. Start, start saying nobody forced Martin Lawrence into Big Mama's house or Tyler Perry into media or Jamie Foxx into Wanda's dress. It was a choice, according to Kevin. He's hitting us with the, it's all ab. Out choice narrative. But then there's this counter-argument floating around. It's all about choice. You know nobody makes you do anything. Nobody says this is what you got to do. This is the only way that you're going to do it. People are saying it's not just a matter of choice. Kevin himself wasn't okay. With the idea before the money talks began, when the cash starts rolling and suddenly integrity takes a back seat, it's like money becomes this magical thing that makes people do stuff they swore they'd never. Er, do and truth be told, when that paycheck comes into the picture, folks tend to reveal their true colors. 
Remember when Steve Harvey dropped that bomb about integrity he straight up? Said give me ten million, and I'll embarrass myself all the way to the bank he was willing to throw his integrity out. The window for a hefty paycheck, it's a harsh reality. But hey, he put it out there ten million for four million. I'll be all the can, stand. A black people will be so embarrassed by my performance you'll be sick. Ang up? They're just going look at this big lip son of a no back to Kevin Hart. After he did the dress thing, his career went through the roof. He became the highest paid comedian, ever raking in cash, like no one else it's like the dress move, was the golden ticket to success in the comedy game people. Might argue about the sacrifice of integrity, but at the end of the day, Kevin's laughing all the way to the bank so some folks used to give Cat Williams a hard time for what he said. But here's the scoop. Even his buddies like Brandon Jackson didn't see eye to eye with him initially. But now they've caught on to what Cat was talking about in a candid interview with comedy hype Brandon. C. Jackson openly shared his regret about wearing a dress alongside Martin Lawrence in Big Mama's house reflecting. On that time, he admitted everything went wrong when I put on that dress, according to Jackson, the pre-Big Mama's era marked a turning point in his career, and while it brought positive aspects like I,